Well, hey, we all, we got a, a barricade in place right here. So that works. I can't see your head, so I hit you in the nuts. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to keep trying to see if we can get a workbench made. We know how to make one. We just don't have all the parts that we need to make one. Uh, one thing we also need to do is make a forge, but I don't know. Is that something we can make our own inventory? Ooh, it is. Wait, we have to actually have a bellows to make a forge? What? What the hell, man? Forging plates, casting tunnels... All right, yeah, so this is not uh, the usual easy easy stuff. Forge box storage. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, wheel. There's not like a... There's a blacksmith forge here. There's not like a smaller version, like a furnace, maybe? Nope. All right, uh, well, here again, uh, all the more reason why we've got to get ourselves a, a crafting bench going. Uh, pretty soon now i'm uh once again not in the best of shape uh for food and water so or well i'm actually okay on water i think we've got eight cans of soda so what we're gonna have to do is grab one of those vitamins we're gonna grab um let's see here yeah, these two sandwiches and those pears and we're going to take this and then we're going to eat the two moldy sham sandwiches delicious they taste really good with a little bit of extra mayo on them. And then we'll wash that down with a can of pears. And that should get our food uh, back into a situation to where it's not absolutely dire. Okay, so uh, it's day four, too, by the way. So, you know, at some point we got to start thinking about Horde Night. But it's still we still have a little bit of time before we have to really worry about that. So I think uh, the thing to do today is keep looking for... We need a hammer and a wrench. That's really what we need. Um, let's just double check and make sure we're not missing something. Yeah, so it looks like it's the usual stuff. Uh, we're going to need forged iron, though, too, which is going to be interesting. So, yeah, um, let's just get out and about and start looking around for that stuff. So we probably should go ahead and take another quest while we're at it, too, so we can continue advancing uh, that way. So let's head on over to Mr. Trader here. Um, cause he's going to open up right now. Well, actually in a couple more in-game minutes. We should wait and hear the, the thing go off. Um, I wonder what, uh, we, we could look around in there and see what's going on. Okay, he should be open. Oh, wait. Actually, there might, I guess there isn't an open and close thing. Oh, man, this does not reach stock. That sucks. All right, what you got for a job, buddy? Um, No buried supplies, so... And everything is, like, super-duper far away. Lovely. Well, we got a fetch that's 1.2 kilometers off. I've got God bless I guess we'll take that, but I'm not sure if we're going to actually do that because it's so far away. I'm thinking maybe we actually check this house out here Um, and see, you know, what's in here. Uh, so let's do it. I want to put these down here. Yeah, they're starting to starting to come in after us. So we got crawler cheerleader. Okay, she's dead. We got nurse Nancy here. She's dead. In theory. Here goes its cheerleader. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Stamina. Stamina, man. Stamina. Alright. Hopefully that's all that's going to harass us at the moment. Uh, we are going to have some sleepers to deal with, too, but we can do that. Okay, let's see if we can get a sneaky sneak shot off on Arlene here. Right in the noggin. Love it. Okay, come here, Arlene. Okay, 
she did. Uh, we got one skill point. Oh my goodness, I keep missing him. Can't afford to miss him with the amount of stamina. All right, time to go. You gonna go down? There he goes. I guess uh, I've already looted those at some point. All right, let's sneak, sneaky sneak in here. We got another nurse, Nancy, uh, and another cheerleader. Uh, if we could get into the kitchen, though, we have an, you know, the. Uh, there's another zombie over there. I can't quite tell which zombie that is. Maybe what we should do is, well, no, here, let's take care of cheerleader right now. Give me my arrow and take a bone in the face and in the chest and in the chest again. Run away. And you did. Okay. Let's get uh, Nurse Nancy next. Can't really get a good headshot off on her, so she just gets a back shot. Okay, she's dead. Now we have... I think that's Ronald McDonald. Shoot him in the in the back of the leg there. <laughs> You're running already? What the hell, man? That's total hacks. Okay. Run away. Rest for a second, get a little a little stamina back. Hit him again and off with his head. Was that noise? Okay, so that eliminates all the Zekers in view on this floor. And what are we wearing for chest armor? That's what we're wearing for chest armor. Fantastic. I think we're going to get the leather off of this. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll, I'll do that maybe later off camera. So let's just keep... Oh, shit. We got a hazmat guy. What I, I, I really want to get into the kitchen. That's where I want to get to. Okay, hazmat's awake. Probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Skater Punk's coming over here. Let's take care of him. Okay, rest. Get a little bit of stamina back. Takes half the freaking day just to kill all these guys before you can do anything. All right, he did. Okay, we've got a Marlene in the kitchen there. So let's go around this way. A Marlene in a lab zombo. Okay. I think we better pull them, one of them, uh, Marlene. I, I mean, I could probably take two on at the same time, but let's not risk anything. Part of the... Um, challenge, I guess, for me with this mod is because they're walking during the day. I think I'm tougher than I am, and I get myself into situations that I can't really get out of. So I need to I need to have a little bit re more respect for the mod, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because, man, I'll tell you what. I was so 
fortunate in the last episode to escape from that bathroom that they had me pinned down in. I thought I was, like, totally dead. And, you know, we, it, my stamina is terrible right now because it's early game. In fact, we just did get a point, didn't we? Let's look at that really quick. Uh, one point. So, let's see. We've already taken sexy tea. Um... Hidden Strike would be good. Flurry of Blows would be good, but we need to get more skill level up first. So we can directly increase agility. What does this do? Deal 210% headshot damage and have a 10% chance to dismember with bows, handguns, and knives. Not bad. Um, so we need. what do we need for this? We'd need Strength Level 3. Okay, that would help. That would also help us with minor 69er stuff. Um, I don't know. I think I think we're gonna stay kind of focused on just looking here really quick. Uh, probably stay focused on agility for the time being. Oh, wow, they got a lot of stuff in the intellect tree that they've moved around. Huh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, I think I want to kind of stick to agility right now. And so if we just bring agility itself up and get it up to three, then we can get um, uh, a flurry of blows up, which is going to help too. And man, hidden strike really would be useful. You know what? What the hell? Let's take it. We need it. We're going to need it. Okay. We'll get all that stuff done eventually. Now, if she's the only Zeker in here, can I get... A sneaky sneak off on her. Well, so much for that. <laughs> We're not very quiet. We are not very quiet. Come on, lady. Okay, she's dead. Something keeps making noise over there. All right, so does that clear the kitchen for us? I think so. All right, so what do we have? Um, an empty brain jar. That's exactly what I was looking for, was an empty brain jar. I'm glad we found that because you know what? Everybody needs an empty brain jar. We're going to eat these right now. Okay, we need a wrench and we need a hammer. Hammer is not likely to be found in here, but if we can find a wrench, then we can use that to take apart the uh, workbench that was in that other cabin. And that'll get us some iron ingots. And a hammer we might end up having to just simply buy from... Air Trader. Alright, we basically didn't get shit from this stupid uh, kitchen. Uh, I'm probably just going to even cut all the looting out. I mean, I seriously got... Uh, I got one can of peas, I think it was, and one jar, and the rest of it was shit. <laughs> it's like so disappointing. So, alright. Well, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Oh, you can pick that stuff up? Well, that's kind of cool. All right, well, um, can I pick these up? No. We're super encumbered right at the moment. What's in this room here? Oh, shit. Um, that sounds like more than just a couple Zekers. All right, well, I'm encumbered. I have nothing to put my shit in, so I'm going to run back to the house really quick, drop stuff off, and then I don't know if we're going to come back here. We probably shouldn't. We probably should just keep looking in more... Places where we can, you know, get wrenches from sinks in particular. That's really what I'm looking for at the moment. All right, let's do this, uh, this house next. Um, hit the kitchen again. I think this is, is this the, like the old Bart Simpson house? I don't remember. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. I guess we'll kill him.
You are one tough mother. Man, I'll tell you what. Okay. Let's hop in this uh, kitchen area and see if we can find a wrench. Man, I hope there's no dogs back here. Just occurred to me. <laughs> That'd be bad. That'd be bad, man. Not a damn thing. Is there a seeker up here? Nope, there is a backpack, though. With some suit pants. No, we'll keep the those on. Scrap that. Guess I'll take that. I don't know why. Let's grab that. Okay. It's been a little while since I've been in this POI, so... We got a burner there. Oh, man, our bow's just about shot. Damn it. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing is ever easy. Any chance we can get a sneaky sneak off on this guy? Nope. No chance at all. Don't hit me. Oh, shit, he hit me. Oh, shit. Yowzers. Out of stamina. Couldn't make the jump. Okay, where's he going? Got him with the bleed. Okay. Let's uh, get this out of the way. Whoops, wrong thing. I don't know if that counts as a sneaky sneak or not, but we got a good hit off on him anyways. Oh shit, why do I keep missing that? Did we get five hits off on him? Yep, he's dead. Those guys are generally pretty weak. They hit hard and they can burn you, but they're they're not very defensively tough. Okay, so we got some cement there, just a bunch of furniture types of stuff there. Let's take this off. I do like that, this little mechanic where we can rip stuff off and use it as barricade. It's kind of nice. They're not very strong, though, but still, it's kind of cool. There's Zombo behind that box. Nope, doesn't look like it. Come on, give us something good. Uh, okay. I mean, those are useful, but not precisely what we need right now. Is there... Nasties in there? Guess not. Ooh, food. I'll take food. We're going to eat that right now, because we need to. All right, where are we supposed to go from here? Oh, are we supposed to fall through here? I don't know if I like that idea, actually. This still looks a little suspicious. Nope, that just goes outside. Okay. All right, you know what? I don't think I want to just drop down in there. That's not really what I want to do. So we're going to go down below. Nice, we got some pain pills. Uh, so let's go back down below. <laughs> I keep missing that. And go in through here. Okay, we got a little bit of a kitchen here. Nothing... No Zikaroos in there. We got a janitor on the table there. Let's deal with him. 
Uh, oh, there's a basement here. Yeah. Run away, run away, run away. Here, let's um uh, put down. We grabbed the duffel bag, didn't we? Yeah, right here. Well, back, back. Let's just put this right here so we can put a few things in here that we don't need to be carrying around with us right now, which is almost everything. Okay. So that Zombo's in a room over here, so we don't need to worry about her right at the moment. Got some seed packets. Oh, anybody in here? Nope. All right. Shamway box. Okay, we got a shammy sandwich. Is that where the hell is that lady at? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, let's just keep looking in these cupboards. We got some weed. That's going to help us. Might help us relax a little bit. Two things of acid. That'll come in handy later. Okay, well, um, oh, I guess we have two cupboards here. Let's check these. Tuna. Okay, so we had a janitor and a table in here. I think that's the lady, or the, the yeah, the lady that that room is in. All right, so we got a customer in here, Marlene. Here, actually. Oh, oh shit! Where did you get? Where'd you come from, lady? Oh, she broke out of there. Look, there's an ammo pile in there. All right, cool. You scared me. All right, she did. You can die now. Anytime. You can die now. Thank you. Here, I want to get... Let's put these on. Hey, look at that. I remembered to do it this time. All right, we got some more blunder ammo. So, what are you doing, Marlene? She did. Okay. So, here's a medical... Uh, a couple medical things. With nothing in them. Alright, we'll take the vitamins. Absolutely take those. Come on, wrench. Uh, that's not a wrench. How about a toilet pistol? You mother. Yeah, we'll take the bones. Okay, so that's it for this room. This is where that other zombie was at. 
Okay, increase your stock in the wheelchair business. Learn to craft the metal chain modification. Ooh, puffer coat. It says 1722. Yeah, we might save that for winter operations, but the, the leather duster is better right now, I think. Okay, so we've already been through there. All right. Nothing behind there. Let's go in here. Oh, this is that house that collapses down, down, down below. It's been a long time since I've been in here. A deputy sheriff's badge and some worn boots. Um, can we sell this? We can. Okay, I guess we'll take those. Kind of encumbered now. Oh shit! <laughs> That's right. I remember this house. Okay, we're not going that way. We are not going that way. Let's. Offload a couple things because we're super encumbered now. Actually, we don't have anything more to offload with. Good thing is, is our house is right there, so there's no point in offloading. Let's just grab everything. And we'll limp back to the house, offload, and then we're going to go down into that basement and see what's what. All right, we need to make ourselves a new bow. Uh, Well, actually, unless I can just repair this one. That probably requires a primitive repair kit. Uh, what was that? That's a gun repair kit. Thought I had another primitive. What's that? Oh, that's a military armor repair kit. Goodness gracious, these repair kits, man. Okay, uh, so primitive. Where's a primitive? Okay, so that requires wood, stone, and fiber cordage. Let's make some fiber cordage with this. Okay, now we'll make the repair kit. And we should be able to repair this because it's over 100. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. And... <laughs> And it went down to 75. Okay. That's what we like to see. Not. Okay, we got some iron arrows, so let's load those up. I'm keeping my stone arrows in here for now. I'll put the sticks in the grass and all that shit back right now. And the wood. Okay, so we're back in business with the arrows. Oh, we're thirsty now. Uh, let's just take this, because I've got the soda pop here for, for stamina. Uh, we can put this back in here. I'm going to also drink some of these. If we get the shits, we get the shits. It's just all there is to it. Got to get that hydration back up. And we got the shits. Okay, so it's all right. It's the way it is. It's just the way it is. Some things will never change. That's just the way it is. Okay, let's get our agility glasses back on. Um, This is in shit shape too, isn't it? Uh, well, let's just keep using it for the moment. I want to go down into this basement and see what's down. Well, I kind of know what's down there, but I don't want to go down there via falling through the floor is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to break this. Military guy. Holy crap. Okay. Well, hey, we, all, we got a, a barricade in place right here. So that works. I can't see your head, so I hit you in the nuts. That's just all there is to it. Okay, let's see if that's enough lead stacks to kill him. Here, let's encourage him to die. There we go. That's sometimes all you need is a little encouragement. Okay, um, is there anybody else in here before we remove this wonderful barricade? I suppose what we could do is this. Get somebody else's attention. Okay. Another military guy. Okay. And a hazmat guy, too. There we go. Yeah, get that corpse out of the way. Get hazmat. Okay. Now let's just... 
Give him a couple pokes with the pitchfork here. Pokey pokey, mate. Okay, you dead and you dead. All right. There might still be a Zeke in here, but I think we did a pretty good job of cleaning those guys out. And it was really nice to have this little uh, barricade here uh, for us. So, yeah, there you go. All right. Let's go take a look in here, see what there is. There's probably some Zeeks over that way. Uh, let's look at this. Some more nails. All right, it's a little bit dark in here, so we're going to get this out. I don't remember what's back here. Oh, nothing's back here. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um. So are we going to get some dudes... Hopping out of here. Uh. There's a toity. Toilet pistol, please. <laughs> we got shit. Anybody in here? Nobody in there. Okay. So I think we're done. We got the fat loots we can check. Uh, let's see if there's any good clothing in here. We'll take cloth. Cloth's always good. Baseball cap. What are we wearing right now? Oh, we're wearing a football helmet. Yeah, let's keep that football helmet on, but I'll keep the baseball cap for the moment. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Okay, uh, let's put the luckies on. See, I'm starting to remember to do that now. Check the ammo pile. Nice. What about this destroyed Ginny? Some iron. And then we got a couple shoddy messiahs and a garage storage box here. That's just a normal repair kit. These are using pair all, all held and worn items, vehicles, and more. So you can use these on anything? Is that what, what the deal is? Is that the takeaway from that? Oh, nope. Rip off. Rip off. Gun store box. Blunderbuss ammo. And let's do this one, too. Yeah, I know. We've pretty much been hungry the whole damn time. Give us something good. A better pitchfork. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, I believe that's it. There is uh, some leather that I could get out of here if I wanted to do so. A couple other resources. Oh, look at that. Medium ammo pile. Nice. Okay, we got a second plunder. So now we can get two shots off. So we can do a bam bam. A bam bam. Thank you, ma'am. Is there anything behind here? Nope. That's just a metal thing. All right, so we're done in here. We still have not found ourselves a wrench. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? We have not found a wrench. But we got an, an extra blunder. We got a better pitchfork. So, you know, that wasn't a, wasn't a bad haul. Actually, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to go up here, drop some stuff off. Let's run back over to the trader real quick. I just want to see if he actually has like a, a level one hammer for sale. Because uh, that could be, you know, a possibility. So let me drop some stuff off. I'm also going to take a few things over there to sell to him, including that stuff. Okay, let's head over there. Got a couple things to sell. And I want to see if he has a hammer or even a wrench for that matter. The wrench would actually be a little more useful to us right at this very moment, but we need both of them to make the workbench, so one way or the other, you know? Okay, so we're going to sell that. 
and all of these, and this, and this, and that. That gives us 819 coin. What do you have for tools, pal? You have a claw hammer. Oh my god. 2,199 coin for that? You've got to be kidding me. What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay, um... That ain't happening. That is not happening. Gratitude. Yeah, Thank gratitude and shove it up your ass, man. Oh, all right. Well, so I know, you know, I know progression is slow in this mod. I get it. But I feel like I'm, maybe I'm missing something because I, I can't even freaking fill jars with water. I, I can't even do that. I tried to do that off camera. Well, shit. And it wasn't working. Um, I can't, you know, I'm very limited to what I can craft in the personal crafting table. I need a, I need a normal workbench, but I can't get a workbench unless I get a hammer and a wrench, right? And, and iron ingots for that matter. So I'm, I guess I'm just a little bit stumped as to what I'm actually, what I should be doing at this point in time. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, empty survival journal. Why does it have a thing on there? Am I supposed to be creating a journal? I guess I'm starting from scratch. First, I'll need some paper to find a way to do this journal. After, com after completing making the journal, go into your bag and read it to continue this quest line. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing to get somewhere? Looks like I'm working on my class quest with this. So, tin paper, twine, and leather strips. Um, okay. I don't even know where anything is, man. It's such a mess right now. I gotta have paper around here somewhere. Do I seriously not have any paper? I don't think I have any paper. I have paper. Never mind. Okay, there's twine. And, uh... We should have leather somewhere. Here. Wait, is that leather strips? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Creating a journal... I think we have to, do we have to put them all in here? Probably. Or, I mean, no, we have to, wait a minute, what? Oh, and an ink pen. I just so happen to have an ink pen right here. I don't remember where I got it, but hey, look at that. Okay, let's craft this. Maybe this is what I'm missing. Okay. A binder to hold all your notes on survival in the apocalypse. You'll need something to write with to start the journal when... You finish a quest line, you'll receive a completed chapter. Hold on to these. You'll need them to craft the completed journal later on. Okay, uh, read. This is a good time to start taking notes on how to survive. After I make this map, I will collect the things I need to start my journal and survive the rest of today. Okay. Um... Gathering information. Nails and paint. I remember old Navis game before the Mists War started. It's a shell of its former self now, but I should make a drawing to remember just in case I need to go there again. After I'm done, I should collect the rest of the things I will need to get started on my journey. Oh, and then we get... Okay, so we get stuff... Okay, I'm... I got you. I got you. Um, well, we're working on this, so we're, we're, we're getting pretty far on that. So... Uh, I have nails. What I don't have is paint. I think I have one. Okay, we have some dye here, though. We could make paint like this. Modify. Take that away. Modify. Take that away. Because, I honestly, I don't give a shit about dye right now. It's just not on my radar. Not even close. Okay, so put that stuff back there. I had a black dye somewhere, too. Where did I put that? Right there. 
Okay, do these give just one paint per? I can't remember. No, they give 15. Okay. All right, I want to hang on to the black tie for the moment. Because I like me some black tie. Um, don't care about these. Let's just scrap them, get some paint. Okay, so nails, we got that covered. Let's just turn all of these into regular nails. Okay, that finishes the quest. Now what do we do? Craft an old Navisgain map. Uh... I'm assuming we do that in here, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. That's kind of neat. That is the old Navis game map, isn't it? Okay, that's done. Now it probably wants us to place it down somewhere, right? Place the old Navis game map. Okay, how big is this? It's pretty good size. Um... That looks as good of a place as any. Press E to pick up the old Navis game map. That is really cool. Okay. Now what do we do? Each chapter... Okay, well, I could start with Dear Diary. Each chapter can cover a topic. I just need to find subjects for each chapter. Take a look around for inspiration. Craft food chapter. Craft farming chapter. Craft workstation chapter. Craft advanced survival chapter. Uh, uh, journal chapters, wood. Okay, where do I get, where do I get journal chapters from? Oh, look at that. We got stuff. What just happened? We got a backpack. Nice. That'll open up a couple more slots. What's this? Oh, an MRE. We're eating it right now. We totally need it. And we got more. Oh, okay. So we have chapters here. All oh, right. Okay. So we get, I guess we get little chapters when we do our thing. Survival journal recipe. Completed journal. Completed journal chapter survival journal. Okay. So we have to wait and do that at the end. Right. Okay. Shut up, zombie. All right, so we're going to put that in there. If we do the workstation chapter... Uh, we, oh, we need 100 wood. Does that give us a workstation? Workstation chapter, craft. Let's see what happens. Workstation chapter, okay. Uh... Oh, we got some water, too. Nice. Okay. All right. So we just crafted... Oh, we've got to do all of these in order to advance the quest. But that doesn't mean... Read. Okay. Okay. Fighting is the only thing I need to survive. I have to rebuild. In order to rebuild, I'll need the tools and stations to do that. Except, craft a tanning rack. Ooh, do we... We can do that, right? Yeah, we just need the stuff. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to... Uh, we need to wrap up this episode. It's gone a little bit long, but... Um... I think I'm I'm finally starting to get on the right track here uh, by going through and, and doing this journal quest. I just, you know, I it hadn't occurred to me that that's what I need to do. And then I started thinking, man, it doesn't seem like I'm making progress like I need to. And I think that that's uh, what we need to do. So um, in the next episode, we're going to just keep working on this because hopefully that'll lead us to where we actually need to go. Instead of, you know, me trying to do this the old the old fashioned way. And we should be able to do all of these. Um, I mean, you know, 75 clay soil. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, but we'll we'll just continue that in the next episode. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.